Hey everyone, today we're going to go over identifying notes and clapping out the rhythms. So let's start by identifying the notes. So just like we've talked about the last couple times, we're going to start with middle C. Again, we ask if there's a line or a space. So we know there's a line or it's on a line if the line's going through it and it's on a space. Well, in this case, it's I would call it a space too, because it's a drippy D and there are no lines going through that note. All right, now we have a line going through it. So that's our first line, right? That's letter E. So quick reminder, every good boy does fine. And then in the space, I say it spells face. So F, or in this case, F, A, C, E. All right, so let's keep going. Up a step to G on the second line, down a step. And again, you can kind of know if you're getting it right, referencing the previous notes. Down a step to E, down a step to drippy D, down a step to middle C, up a step to drippy D, up a step to the first line, which is E, first space, up a step, up a step, which is G, up a step on the second space, which is A, second line, which is G. We've got another gag in this exercise. Lots of fun. All right, now down one to F, up to the second line here, which is G, down to the first space, which is F, down to the first line, which is E. We've got F, up a step to G, up a step to A, up a step to B, and then up a step to C. All right, now we added a new note in there. Well, it's not new, but it's a different note from the exercises we've been doing before. So we've got our whole note at the end. So I'm gonna count you off and I'm gonna have us clap it together. So we have half notes, quarter notes, and whole notes. So let's see if we can do it. So I'll count you off. One, two, ready, and clap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. How'd you do? Hopefully it wasn't too difficult. I hope I didn't go too quickly for you. If it gets confusing at any point and you're like, Mrs. Schaefer, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I'm confused. Feel free to email me and I will do my best to help you out. Okay, here we go. Let's do the next one. So we have the same kind of exercises each time, right? So we have four, four here, three, four here. Again, we don't want to talk too much into detail about time signature other than we know that whatever the time signature is tells us exactly how we clap it um, and the rhythms that we're working with. So um, in this case, it's a little different. We've got the one, two, three, like we mentioned before. So let's focus on the identification of the notes first and then we'll clap it out okay so first note is what is it a line or a space if you said space good job so how will we figure that out there's no line going through it and then we have f right in the space is spell space so f a c so that's our answer e so let's do c that's our answer c okay down a step third line. If you're confused, you can always say every good boy, which is our answer, right? If we kept going, does fine. All right, let's keep going. So down a step to A, up a step to B, up a step to C, down a step to B, down a step to the second space A, second line G. We've got a bag in this exercise. All right, now let's keep going. A, up a step to the third line, which is B, third space, which is C, so in step motion, down a step, B, back up a step to C, down a step to B, down a step to A, down a step to G, another bag, we got two bags in this exercise, up a step to A, up a step to B, and then our last note is C. Got that dotted half note in there again, which is again, how much is that worth? We talked about it a couple times. If you said three, good job. 
So again, the half note's worth two, the dot is worth one. Uh, the dot adds half the value of the note we are working with. In this case, that note is a half note worth two. Half of two is one. Two plus one is three. All right, now, if that's confusing, don't worry. It's just trying to get you a little bit ahead when we get into rhythms into more detail later. All right, now, let's talk about doing the clapping here. So like I mentioned right before we did the exercise, the three, four feels a little different from four, four. So I'll count you off and then we'll do it together. So one, two, three, ready, and clap. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. How'd you do? Hopefully this wasn't too confusing. And again, hopefully I didn't go too fast for you. If you're confused on anything, please feel free to email me and I will do my very best to help you out. Alrighty friends, thanks for participating with me and clapping along with me. I will see you all next time.